hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here just hit the subscribe button down below and the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my exclusive tutorials so today i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful pineapple detailed tan top i also made a matching skirt all will be in the description box but this particular video is going to be in two parts this is the very first section and i'll be teaching you everything into details that's why it's um, divided into two parts so just grab your items let's start start this tutorial as soon as possible for this tutorial you are going to need um some acrylic yarn some pair of scissors and a hook i'm using the 3.0 millimeter hook to be precise because it's my favorite hook i love using it if you have watched a lot of my tutorials you realize i use 3.0 most of the time and the acrylic yarn i'm using is of the brand super quality two birds and i'm using two strands at the same time that's why I am actually showcasing the two um, yarn so that's what I'll be using for this project and this project consists mainly of pineapple stitches and it's very easy to make if you follow the pattern so I'll be showing you the pattern I'm using it's a drawn pattern and probably I'll be teaching you a few tricks about how to read patterns so let's get right into the video first of all this is the pattern I'm using and it consists of the layout for the pineapple stitches I'm going to create. I find pineapple stitch very very interesting because it's easy to recreate and you can recreate any type of outfit you want. But I'll be making this simple tanto for you because I think it's casual and really nice to wear. So I'll be explaining into details how I read my patterns and I'll be doing several um, clusters of the pineapple agent. So this is the main pineapple agent and this is how the cluster is going to look like so it will be shaped in several um, types so that's how I'm going to work my pineapple pattern for this um, top so the pineapple pattern consists of double crochets chain stitches as well and single crochet stitches very easy to make the three most basic stitches you have here so let's get right into the very first step so I'm going to take my yarn uh, i have two strands as i told you i'm going to use two strands as optional and i'm going to chain as long as i want for my neckline which is the base part the basic part for the tank top so next i'm going to chain up an additional one go into the next place and single crochet all the way down to the end of the row so just place a single crochet to the end of the row and this is what I have after single crocheting all the way down. So I'm going to move to my next, my very next, um, my very next row where I'm going to make use of my chains in order to create the pineapple pattern. So this is how my neckline is going to be. I'll be inserting a picture of how the neckline is actually going to look. So if you look at the very down of the pattern, the very basic of the pattern, you realize that a mesh stitch is created before the pineapple stitches are even inserted. So I'm zooming in very well for y'all to see. So that's, what, that's the technique I'm going to use for my neckline and you'll be needing two necklines, one for the front panel and then one for the back panel. So I'm going to create my mesh stitch with chain two spaces in between. So so to begin my next stitch, my mesh stitch, sorry, I'm going to chain up um, three, two, and three. I'm going to turn over. I'm going to add an additional two because I'm going to skip two spaces. So chain up an additional two, and the chain three counts as a double crochet itself. So I'm going to skip two stitches and inside the third space, I'm going to pleat. A simple double crochet in the third space so just count to the third space yarn over insert your hook into that third space where you have spotted yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through final two you have this mesh stitch design and next i'm going to chain two skip two and repeat your double crochet stitches all the way down it depends on the number of chains you make for your neckline i don't want to be specific in um just predicting the exact numbers you are going to have for each mesh design but i'll just show you the number i had for mine and i think my size comes fit a size medium to large and it's kind of versatile flexible you know crochet stuffs are um flexible so just do this to the end 
so i'm done with my message and this is what i had i had a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i had a total of 15 or more you can have more or less so next i'm going to chain up three and add an additional two ten over my work as usual this time i'm going to go skip the next phase and go into the space after with a double crochet as seen and i'm going to chain one and double crochet in that same exact space and i call this the v so next i'm going to chain to skip the space there and go into the next space with a total of eight double crochet so i'm going to put in a double crochet in that same exact space and this is the very base for the pineapple um stitch so just swiftly put your a double crochet and i'll show you what to do next So I'm done with my total of eight double crochets and I'm going to chain up to skip the next pod. Sorry, chain two, skip the next pod and then I'm going to put a V there. A V is I'm going to put a double crochet, chain one and double crochet in the same space. I call this the V. So we are going to create V the V interchangeably simultaneously with the um base of the pineapple so after chaining two and skipping the next piece i'm going to put as usual a double crochet in the following um, space and this is going to be repeated until you get to the end of the row chaining two putting a v skipping one space putting a v in the following space chaining two skipping one space putting a pineapple um eight double crochets in the following space this is what you're going to do for this particular row. So we are gradually approaching the very end of the row and we are always it's always advisable for you to end with a double crochet so after chaining one we are going to move to the very last chain three space from the previous row and place your double crochet on top and this is what you are supposed to have for the second row of this top so next you are going to chain up three turn over your work and you are going to place a double crochet in the very first double crochet and you know we have eight clusters in the same space so after double crocheting you are going to separate each double crochet you are going to make a total of eight but you are going to separate it with a uh, chain one so chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and that's the technique you are going to use for this particular top so make sure you always chain one move to the next space and double crochet and you are going to repeat this till you get to the very last and so you must have a total of eight double crochets only separated with chain one spaces. So now you are done with your very first section of the pineapple pattern and the next section is to create a V in the V. So to do that, you are going to chain up one and double crochet in the V, chain up one again and double crochet in the same exact part for the B, the V, sorry. So you are going to chain up one and move to the next double crochet, which is part of the clusters of eight double crochet in the same space. And as usual, you are going to separate it with chain one spaces as I've been showing you um previously so just do this to the end of the cluster and you are going to do this simultaneously repeating the v and the pineapple stitch as well so make sure you count it and make sure it's eight in total
so from this section we are going to do this simultaneously and the next is going to be a v and make sure you chain one before you create your v in the space and you chain one again and create the same double crochet so double crochet chain one double crochet in the same space as you can see and then you are now going to create your next section of the pineapple top separating your double crochets with chain one spaces as i've been showing you so do this and i'll meet you at the end of the row Make sure you end with a double crochet always at the end of the row and you are going to move to the next row and as you can see it's gradually forming nicely to begin the next row you are going to chain up three and then you are going to add an additional two so chain up an additional two and move to the space and create a v so make sure you separate it with a chain one so sorry about that just chain one and double crochet again in that same space and you're going to chain up one again and this time you are going to move to the space there and you're going to single crochet so next you're going to chain up three turn move to the next space and single crochet sorry chain up three Move to the following space and single crochet so you are going to repeat this till you get to the very last space and i'll i'll show you what to do next so after doing this you are supposed to have a total of six ports or chain three spaces i'm going to do my last chain three and then i'm going to single crochet in the last space and make sure you have that exact number so next i'm going to chain up um i'm going to chain up for the next row and as usual chain up your one and quit your v as usual and you are going to do this simultaneously when you get to the other pineapple stitch you are also going to chain one single crochet in the space chain three single crochet chain three single crochet so i'm going to meet, meet you at the end of the row so i'm finally at the end of the row and you are supposed to have three pineapples in total for this neckline but it, it differs from the particular neckline you have and for my size i just had three sections of pineapple so this is what you are supposed to have and as you can see the neckline is basically forming so you are going to do two sections of the same exact neckline and you are going to use one as the back and one as the front and then you are going to expand your section as well so i'm going to move to the next um row and then to do that i'm going to as usual chain up my three sorry chain up four instead and then i'm going to move to the next space with a single crochet so this is the very first port you made from the for the pineapple pattern so after that i'm going to chain up three move to the next space and single crochet we are going to do this to get to the end of the pineapple stitch and then we will move simultaneously with the v so just do your usual chain three and single crochet to end you end the pineapple stitch and you're supposed to reduce so you're supposed to have five for this section the previous one was six and you're supposed to have five in total for this section so i'm going to fast forward and then this is basically repetitive till the end
we're getting to the end we are going to create your very last v after the pineapple design and you're going to change one and end so we are going to change to and end with your regular double crochet whether i chain one or two it doesn't really matter for this top so i'm just loving the outcome so far and as i said you're going to do two panels for this particular one will be used for the top and then one will be used for the top and one will be used for the back panel so i'm going to fasten up and i'm going to weave in the excess yarns later it really matters so i'm going to move ahead to do my back panel and i'll meet you guys when i'm done to continue and explain to you what to do next i'm finally done with my front and back panel as you can see that's symmetrical and so i'm just going to join by making a number of chains enough to create the turn top so that number of chains should include your armpit measurement it doesn't really matter normally what i do is to make a total of um 28 to 36 chains depending on however you want so i'm just going to chain and connect to the down part or the down aspect of the other side so do this and i'll meet you We are finally done with our number of chains of 32. I did 32 for mine and I'm going to single crochet. I'm going to actually slip stitch to join to the other side as well. And I'm going to chain one to fasten up. I'm going to do the same, exact same thing for the other side as well. The number of chains you did, I'm going to do it for the other side as well. What you're going to basically do is to make a slip knot and chain one and you're going to connect but first after you make the chains make sure you weave in all the excess yarns before you continue so after chaining one you're going to slip stitch into that exact place where we joined and we're going to chain up three to begin the very first row after chaining three what you're going to do is to skip the next two chains and double crochet into the next space and you are going to chain one and double crochet in the same exact space again which i call the v of um from the beginning of the video so i'll just refer this as a v so after that i'm going to chain to skip two and create a v in the third space again what you're going to do next is to chain two and skip two spaces double crochet eight times in the same exact space creating your very first pineapple pattern for the armpit area so i'm done with my total eight double crochet in that same exact space and i'm going to chain two skip two chains and double create a v in the third space or the third chain so what you're doing this time is uh, creating two and then two v's and then the following will be a pineapple pattern so after chaining two you are going to create a v once again and you are going to separate it by chain two space and create your pineapple this time around so make sure you create your pineapple with a total of eight double crochets and yes this is basically how the pattern is it's very very easy to work with so the next thing is to chain up three and skip two spaces as usual and double crochet a v create a v in the third space make sure it's always separated by a chain one and we're going to create a v again so this is the very last v but make sure you chain two and move to the third space and place your v so that is what i'm trying to do for you guys so this is the very last V and then you are now come to coincide with your main neckline design you made. So this is how it's coming out for the armpit area. So to do that, you are going to chain up two and I'm going to put a double crochet there so that it stays right intact. So after doing that, you are going to now 
work with the pattern so after chaining one i'm going to create a v in the v because the very first thing you see is a v after the completion of the armpit area so after that i'm going to chain up two and then single crochet in the very first port and chain three single crochet chain three single crochet as you can see as time goes by it keeps on closing and by the end you should have a total of four um ports the previous one was five so this one's supposed to be four so after doing that i'm going to chain two and create a v over there and this is the basic pattern for your guys this is very simple to make you're going to repeat this simultaneously making sure you create a v and also you chain and single crochet when it gets to the pineapple patterns i'm going to give you a final demonstration to y'all and then yes make sure you just chain your three single crochet and make sure you create your v wherever the v is so i'm actually about to complete my pineapple pattern for this section and i'm going to create my last v so i'll meet you at the uh, next armpit area so we are now approaching the next armpit area and after completing your pineapple design it is compulsory for you to put a double crochet over there so this is how it's forming out the pattern is still coming out clearly so after doing that you're going to work on your armpit as usual you're going to chain up to skip two space and double crochet a v so you're going to repeat the same thing you did for this side and it's basically repetition for this armhole so i'm going to fast forward a lot of parts because this is basically repetition so what you're going to do after chaining two is to do your v chain two again skip two and do your v again chain two and then do your eight double crochet as usual the same exact thing you did for the armpit area so i'll meet you at the back panel but anyway the back panel is still the same repetition as the one we did for the front panel so we are almost approaching the back panel so after chaining to remember to put your double crochet over there and now you are going to move to the back panel section as i told you the same repetition as what we did for this front panel so um you're supposed to have this look and i'm just going to give you some small demonstration because this is basically repetition so you are going to single crochet cr sorry i'm going to create a very first v and make sure it's separated by your chain one after that you're going to chain two single crochet in the very first board chain your three single crochet in the next board and you're supposed to have a total of four ports so it decreases by one as time goes by and that is how this pattern works. So I'll meet you at the end of the row. So we are almost approaching our end of the row and I created my last pineapple pattern. So what I'm going to do is to chain up two and slip stitch into the very first double crochet from the very first row. And you are now going to get ready for your next row. And to do that, you are going to chain up a total of four and create your v in the very first v and the v is double crochet chain one double crochet in the same exact space so you are going to chain one once again and create your next v and you all know what's going to happen next you are going to chain up your one and double crochet in the very first double crochet this time it's separated by chain one spaces so double crochet chain one double crochet and you're supposed to have eight in total it's the same repetition pineapple that are come to form from the armpit area 
So this time we are going to separate it by chain one spaces, and this is the basic basic technique. And make sure you count it to get the exact same eight inch. So the next is going to be a V as usual, but make sure you separate it by a chain one, and do your V in the V from the previous row. Easy, right? So we are going to separate your V's with your chain one, and then. Um, we are going to repeat the same pineapple pattern detail separated by chain one spaces after making the 2v in the next pineapple pattern for the armpit area so this is forming out nicely and the following is going to be a v so we are finally approaching the front panel i don't know whether it's the front or the back <laughs> so we are gradually approaching and i'm going to create my two v's and after creating my two v's i'm going to chain one and do my very first double crochet stand alone that begins the panel so after doing that you are going to chain one again and do your v again and this is basically repetition all the way down when you see a v you create your v in when you see the pineapple pattern you chain three single crochet chain three and this is basically the pattern for this video so i'm going to fast forward quickly and i'll meet you at the end So we are finally at the end of the row and as usual chain your two and slip stitch into the very first chain four on top of the very first chain four um, of the row so you see how the pineapple detail is gradually forming i just love this what do you guys think so you are just going to move in to your next row and as usual you are going to chain up your four to begin and after that you're going to create your very first v and as i told you this is going to be repetitive a v in a v and then you are going to create your pineapple pattern as well gradually so just create your v separated by chain one spaces as usual and there's no big deal you can separate it by chain two or chain one but i just prefer the chain one so after doing this you're going to chain up two and move to the very first space you see we created chain one spaces of the pineapple and single crochet chain three single crochet chain three you are supposed to have six in total for this pineapple do you guys get it so you're supposed to have six in total so you're just going to single crochet chain three single crochet chain three all the way down to get to the end of the pineapple pattern so i'm almost approaching the end and make sure you count um, a total of six just chain and single crochet and you're supposed to have a total of six um chains so after doing this i'm going to chain up two and double crochet chain one double crochet in the same space creating the v i've been talking about so now I'm going to fast forward this part quickly because it's basically repetition and that's the same thing you're going to do here. After creating your V, you're just going to chain up two, single crochet, chain up three, single crochet along the spaces created from the previous row to complete your pineapple pattern. We are gradually forming it until it gets completed, but the middle section will almost be completed and you have to start another row of Dime, um, sorry, of pineapple stitch, which will also be featured in the second part. So, we are going to move to the section as usual. You know, you begin with your chain one and double crochet, and you are going to create your V after chaining one again in the V's, and then you are going to create your pineapple pattern. I just want to give you a small demonstration here. This is what you're having so far and 
I'm just loving it already. So the pineapple pattern is gradually closing up and that's the effect you're going to get for both the front and back panel and the armpit started on its own. So you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row and since we had four this time I'm going to have three ports. So yeah. I've already made two pots already and I'm going to do my last port so I just chain three and I sorry I have two ports already sorry so after chaining three I'm just going to create a V chain up three and single crochet in the very first chain three single crochet and chain three again and single crochet so you're going to have a total of two ports as you can see so it's gradually closing up and that's the effect you get for all the pineapple designs for both the front and back panel so i'll meet you at the end of the row finally at the end of the row i wrote this slip stitch to join and i am almost about to end my part one and continue from here to part two so next you are going to chain up your three sorry your four and do your v in the v's from the previous row separated by chain one spaces as you can see and we are now going to move to the pineapple design and to do that you are going to chain up two single crochet chain up three single crochet into the next chain up three once again and single crochet into the following you have two ports chain up three again single crochet into the following you have three ports and do your final port chain up three and single crochet so you are going to have a total of four ports for this section and this is basically repetitive so i'm going to end here if you want to continue this button just click on the description and let's continue join me to watch part two just go to the description box the video the direct link will be there bye bye